there's one thing you can say about a Canadian summer, it never lasts long enough. So at this time of year, we really want to savor all the great things about summer and particularly this year after so many months of being cooped up indoors. Doesn't summer feel a little more glorious this time? So what do we do to make this happen? I think first of all, we clear the deck. We put on the back burner anything that doesn't have to happen at this time of year so that we have more time to be able to head outdoors and enjoy the, all the great things about a Canadian summer. I think we ease the pressure. We don't have to put a lot of pressure on ourselves to think that we have to come up with magical, involved, expensive activities. I often think back about one of the more enjoyable activities in my own childhood, just running through the sprinkler on the front lawn. Something that simple can be magical and really fun when you're a kid. I think also about savoring the moment. I often when I'm walking in nature and I'm smelling, you know, the freshness of the flowers and, you know, the smell of the cedar trees, I just want to drink that in. I want to download that memory so that in February in Canada, when I can't have access to those sensory delights, I can recreate in my own head the feeling of a Canadian summer. I think finally I would say um, we also want to recognize that Childhood comes with a limited number of summers. And yes, this summer is going to be very different, but I think we really want to make the most of it for ourselves and our kids because they're not going to get this summer back. It's a limited time offer, just like childhood itself. So let's truly savor and enjoy summer. Oh, Anne, I love it. I love it. I love that that uh, that picture that you're painting of uh, you know the 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 summers I remember when I was a kid here and uh, when I came to Canada because you could lie back on the grass and look up at the clouds and imagine and and just follow the bugs as they go unlike in Scotland where it's always it's always pouring rain so you don't get to lie on your back in the grass and, no I'm only kidding but you know the 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 point that I would take from what you're saying is really how can you seize the day how can we support parents to say turn off all of the other stuff and just let the children play let them encourage them to go outside you know we've got some research great research from Josh Fullen in uh, Maximum City who's just done surveys with kids in the Toronto area and they're not going outside during COVID um, the, uh, uh, even once a day to get outside they're not doing and they're spending so much more time on on um, on machines on uh, on games and what have you so let's grab the this Canadian wondrous summer and seize that day take in the good you know that that um, going for a walk as a family can make such a difference um, or even just encouraging the kids to go outside and say I want you to go outside and find three things that you don't find inside I want you to go and I want you to explore a part of the yard or a part of the street that you haven't looked at before. So you're encouraging that a kind of inquiry. You know, when you, when you talked about the sprinkler, it's so funny because just yesterday I was saying to my husband that we should get a sprinkler for our boys, our, uh, our, our grandchildren, our granddaughter is, uh, is just crawling. So we don't want her going through the sprinkler just yet, but it would be, it, it, there are so many good things about our Canadian summers and how can we savor them? I have, as you and I have talked about, have a real dream that we, through this period of time, get back play. That we have kids enjoying play outside, big body, tumble play, that parents value the impact, the importance of play, because that is how they learn. And I'm really hoping that that's one of the uh, unintended but positive outcomes of this period of time. So take in the good, get outside and let the kids play. It would be wonderful. <laughs>